All right, guys. Okay, so it's nighttime, and now we're going to release the ladybugs into the garden. And one of the first things, let me get the light on us so I can show you guys. Come show the ladybugs. So we have two. Uh, so yes, yeah, so we have two packages of ladybugs, and the best time to release them is at night because as it warms up in the day, they are more likely to fly away. So if we release them at night then it will give them more hours in the night to get really settled into their home and to do their work, which is to eat the aphids. Waking up. So, are they starting to wake up? Mm -hmm. So if you keep them in your fridge, they're really slow, they don't move around a lot, and then when you bring them outside, they're gonna move around a lot more. So the first rule of thumb is release them at night. The second one is to water your garden first. So we gotta do that real quick. So the two areas we're gonna release them is over here first. So I'm just gonna water, and I wanna get them just all over, I just wanna get all over the leaves really well. They really wanna drink a water right away, and so by us watering here, that should help them. So, are we gonna- Are they waking up? So yeah, we're gonna release the first one. You can see them in here. They kind of are crawling around. So what we're gonna do is just take off the lid. We're just gonna put them right at the base here, Ethan. Like on Go ahead. Side. Nope, just open straight up. But wait, don't take the lid off first. Let's stick it down there first. You gotta leave the lid down there because they're all over it. Yeah, yeah, so go ahead and take the lid off. See, see. Lydia, don't get in the way. All right. Oh my goodness. That's so awesome. Just stick them in there and we're gonna just stick them way deep in here. And in fact, why don't you put the lid a little bit further down. Let's see him, let's see him. Oh, it's not focusing, hold on. Oh, he's moving fast, so put him on that leaf. Hopefully they'll get to work. All ladybugs, ladies? No. Yeah. <laughs> Haven't you ever seen a bug's life? Oh yeah, bug's life. Yep. Okay. So the next little batch we're gonna release over here by my pumpkin, where I've seen some aphids hanging out. So Lydia so, is gonna crank it open, stand. and let's just stick them down underneath in the leaves somewhere. Just like, sure, oh. whatever you want. Can you see it and everything? Yeah. I'll just put the lid somewhere. All right. So, right now, they're just starting to crawl up on this plant, which is exactly right. what I want them to do because this, these cucumbers have aphids on them. So hopefully they'll continue to crawl and be all over all of our cucumbers. There's plenty of aphids all over these cucumbers. So, we'll see what happens here. Best case scenario is they will stay in your garden and at least eat all the aphids that you've got. Or I'm sorry, that's the worst case scenario. The best case scenario is if they would stay throughout the growing season. So we'll see what they decide to do. You really can't control bug life, but you can kind of set up the best things possible so you can make sure and hopefully have them stay in your garden. So we'll check on them tomorrow and see if they stayed around. I'm gonna let you know. All right, so we're here the next morning and ladybugs are still here. If you can see them, they're all over. Let's hold this steel. It's still here. They're all over. It's really windy outside today, but they're hanging on. And you can see the aphids down there. So they're getting to all these aphids. Now odds are that they, a lot of them probably flew away. They could have flown to other parts of the garden there's some over here, and so what you'll probably see the next morning is them kind of just spread out over your garden. And if you've got enough of a bug problem, they're usually hanging out in lots of different places. Here they are on top of my pumpkin plant. I can see them all over the plant, hanging out. Let's go see if we see the, any of them over on the area I did not release them. So I released them over here by my cucumbers that are kind of brand new plants, over by this fairly new pumpkin. And now I'm gonna check and see if they came over here. Over here is where I have some aphids. Oh, there's one right there, see? So they flew over there to this other area where I have plenty of aphids for them to eat. And the hope is that they kind of made their way across the garden and d did all their work in my garden before they decided to leave. So if you remember, I released the trichogramma wasps about a few days ago, and 
there's this little these little pads that they're on I noticed that when I released them and I hung them directly on the plant I had some ants crawling over it which means that the ants were able to eat a bunch of the eggs so one of the best rules of thumb is to put it on a pin and put some Vaseline on the pin I just stuck it straight into the plant because I'm not really that concerned about that little part of the plant and so far there have been no ants on there and a lot more eggs have hatched so I think we're good so far and hopefully the point of the trichogama wasps are, and they're pretty tiny wasps, their goal is to eat any of the worms that are gonna be on corn. So this is like a, nat a natural biological pest control. And as the corn keeps growing, I'll report back and show how it is. If you keep watching our daily life videos, I show a lot of the progress in the garden as we go on. Hopefully that helps you. So definitely, definitely consider biological control because you can fight and fight and fight bugs with different sprays and things like that or you can just go ahead and release some bugs that are gonna do the work for you. Look, these little ladybugs are mating. And the best thing in the world would be if the ladybugs decided to hatch their eggs here because then they'll spawn back here and hopefully, in the best case scenario, they come back here every year and they keep my aphid population down.